Today, I'm gonna to show everyone out there on how I put a carpet in a car, or in this case, a truck. What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're out here at my shop and we got the truck back from Jeff's Auto Body and Customs because we're going to do a few things over here and then it's going back over to his shop to get the bed installed and to get the rear bumper installed and the set of bars and tidy up some of the things that we need to address over there. But I'm going to show you guys how I install a carpet into the truck and what I've done so far. And you could use this concept to install in any vehicle. But here we have a carpet that we are installing a new one. I did do that side all the way up to the passenger side door. But I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how I install one of these into a vehicle and it works on a car or truck this method and I'm going to show you guys on this side on what I do for my cuts but this is what it's looking like now so let me get things set up and if you're new to the channel hit that like comment and subscribe button don't forget to see, ring that notification bell so you guys can stay posted when I drop some new videos so let me get you set up and talk you guys through some of the methods that I use alright so once we got the carpet laid out like I said before is we also have our seat bolts in place and what I'm going to do right now is because this is a truck or it could, on any application with a car where it has a, a shifter in the center is to mark my where my shifter will go and what I'll use is a sharpie marker and what I'll do is just pull it back to find out where and it's a little hard for you guys to be on that side to up in here because of the space so I'm just going to talk you guys through this part is to mark where the hole in the floor comes from and I'll mark that and then what I'll do is mark up here where the hole ends and then I'll pull the carpet back a little bit more now I have my two marks where the start of the hole and the end of the hole is going to go and I don't have my four-wheel drive hooked up so I could this way when I go to put lift the carpet up over I could just lift it up over and then once the, after the carpet's installed I'll go back underneath and rehook up my four-wheel drive but right here is where I'll make my first cut from this dot to the next dot and I don't know if you guys could see that you can see the line right there and very simple to do so a sharpie and some razor blades is basically all I use to install a carpet so once I get that all situated I will make a little cut here and make sure you guys don't go through and cut the carpet down below because you don't want to do that because then you'll be you know cursing yourself out and then I'll put the four-wheel drive selector up over it And then as you can see, it is pretty much well a nice little slip there that I could, well, let me get it back up right there. And that's okay if this is all bunched up like that because we do want to work this carpet from the back to the front. That's the easiest way. And one of the other easiest ways are is to make sure your molding areas are lined up like I said I've already had the seat bolts here and then once I get this situated to where I want it because I could pull this over a little bit and that's why in case I have to pull this over the the trim piece you don't cut past the trim because you could always just make a cut and one thing here's a tip for you guys one thing is to 
save your scrap pieces because if you do cut a little too big or something you could always get a little piece of fabric a little bit of glue put it in there and no one will ever know that you did it so once I have this lined up I'm pretty much well where I need it to be and this is holding it up because I had the bolts here I'm gonna bring you guys around this side over here maybe a little bit more this way when I flip the carpet up you can see what I'm talking about the seat bolt all right now that I have my gear selector for the four-wheel drive all mocked up in here and I did have to make the hole a little bit bigger so I have a little bit of play play either way so this way when I start pushing out this carpet and pushing it forward and being that this is a molded carpet there's a mold right here and this is where you want to be careful on what you're cutting or how you're going to cut it and just take your time this is one of those jobs to where the longer you spend doing this the nicer the job is going to be and you want to take your time doing this right there is how I have the seat bolts in and I'll just lay the carpet down and I'll stretch and pull it to where I need it and then I'll mark it with the sharpie from the top and then I'll just go ahead and make an X cut on there and just cut a little hole out around where each bolt goes so that's what I'm going to do now and that's pretty much what all it is is to to just mark it now I'll go ahead and make my little slices in here and cuts but this is also a good time so if you're doing any cab wiring to run your you want any wires underneath your carpet is to go ahead and run your wires underneath your carpet and then once you get your hole where you need it I pull out my bolt and if you want you could cut your holes big enough to now let's see where we're at and the reason why I like to do this is so when you're up on the carpet and you're pushing and pulling uh, the carpet won't shift on you and then now I have all my seat bolts in place and now I can see how it's starting to line up over time with the vehicle being outside the heat and stuff like that will get all these wrinkles out you just want to make sure all your molds are lined up and then as you're putting it in you'll see your mold starting to take them take place because right now it's a new carpet it pulls a little bit because it's new and you just want to keep working it and this is where you need your trim molding you're doing a new carpet and what I'll do is put my trim molding here to actually see how far out where my trim molding goes and then this is where I need to know how far out to go with the carpet to where I start trimming the sides and you can just take a measurement from here to to the edge of your trim but what I like to do is go to where the holes are that fasten your trim down or your fasteners and just put my finger there and then underneath I will get my sharpie because I don't make no marks from the top and I'll just put a little mark there so now when I pull that when I mark that now when I look it actually the carpet goes underneath my gasket and then the trim comes up from over here over to there like it's supposed to oh, one other thing just remember when you put your seats on if you make any mistakes anywhere in through here where your bolts are at if you your holes off a little bit it doesn't matter because the the footprint from your seat will cover any mistakes and once again like like I says you save some of your scrap if you need to fill a hole or anything like that some of the pieces have insulation on the back you just rub it in there and you just blend it all in a little glue and you'll be good to go but I'm gonna start from the back and start working forward and I'll see you here in a little while we started from the back like I told you previously and we worked our way up up towards the front to the sides we put our holes in here which I also have to cut another hole here underneath the seat for the 
seatbelt indicator so you guys don't forget to do all those little cuts like that. But now we're up here in the front and this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. And all I'm going to do is find out where, and I'm going to cut myself a little extra long, but I need to cut all this excess off because this is just too much. So what I did was run the carpet up this way, flip the carpet over backwards, and then I'm going to find my most lowest center point or um, cut as far as how far back on this, and then it's going to go up this way. So then I'll just cut here and make my cuts here and then just cut straight across and then I'll trim going up around there. So once again, get your Sharpie and you're going to mark about where you'd want to make your first cut. And here on this one, I'm going to be uh, cutting a little, not, I'm not going to shorten myself, but I'm going to leave a little extra room in there so I could trim out later on. And then just make sure your, your carpet's all nice and even. And then all I'm going to do is mark. And then this way I could cut out this center. You guys, don't cut your fingers here. Here's where I don't have to worry about this piece for now. And then I'm just going to come across here and start working my way this way. And then I'm going to come around and get this way. Now we can see how the carpet is going to start laying flat. And here's where I'll start making my cut across. I'll even pull this out a little bit. And I did mark my lines so you see how far I have to come down. And like I said, right almost up to the carpet pad and then I'll cut do a cut across and then I'll tuck that back up underneath there and as you can see how this is all starting to, to come in nice and I'm not too sure if the carpet I know my cover goes around here a little bit more so I'm gonna run this make sure this there's enough room that this runs underneath the carpet or underneath the cover and then I'm just going to take my measurements, start laying it up up here. Now this, this side is a lot easier to work with. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. And you have to be a little bit of a contortionist. And this is where you almost have to see how far up your carpet's going to go before I start cutting off any excess and I'll come around up underneath here. And all I'm really doing is now shaping the top of the thing uh, of where the carpet's gonna go. And this is starting to fit real nice up in here. Well, I'm going to finish this up and then I'll bring all you guys around and show you what this side looks like. Well, we got the carpet installed now and I can honestly say it looks great. Like I said before, the this is one of those jobs where the longer you take, the nicer the job is. So let me take you around and show you and I'll discuss some of the problems I'm, I came across. Here is what the carpet looks like now. As you can see, I do have the plug for the seatbelt indicator in here and then uh, <clears throat> the only thing I took was some razor blades sharpie and I got a flashlight here and I'll show you everything up underneath there as you can see we have it all installed up in there and I like how it how it tucks nice and neat up in here and then what I all I have to do now is to is to adjust for the Cut this out a little bit more so that way I could put the four-wheel drive trim on there and pretty much we'll got, get all the trim together and I, as you can see right here is where I put the trim holes I just cut around there and that's why I had the trim so this way I could know where to put it and as you can see over there I got some of the trim installed just to see what it would look like I got the kickers in 
on this side and I come across a wire I'm not too sure where it goes but I'm gonna have to figure that out but as you can see here the wrinkles will work their way out of this when the uh, as it, it warms up and stuff like that but overall I didn't come across any problems I just had it up up here in the foot wells I just had to take my time and just cut little bits and little pieces off at a time until I could get this all to lay up here nice and neat and the same thing with the other side and as you can see those wrinkles over there they'll work their way out and like right here this will work its way out this will all lay flat I just got a little bit more trimming up here to do and get all this stuff in here nice I can honestly say that the uh, carpet here let me take you further back out as to what it looks like and some of these pieces I just have in place now just to to show you what it what it looks like I do have that that pillar trim piece on there and that's all it took was just a little bit of time a lot of by the a lot of time for me you know and it's just a lot of cutting you know let's hope this I hope this video helps you guys out in doing installing your carpet in your ram Oh, one other thing if it, if you come across pieces like here where it sits down too low just take some of your scrap pieces and put them underneath here to raise the carpet up a little bit where there's no insulation and then it'll fit nice up against your trim well you guys know what to do ring that bell smash down on that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you all in the next time like I said, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you want to stay more with that build, do those couple of things, and you guys can follow the build. Well, till next time, I'm Joe, driving trucks and hunting bucks. It's how I roll with Ricky Thabs.